Welcome to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a donder. On this video, we were supposed to go to Rosile. We didn't actually get there, but we saw this barn owl on the post centre screen. Taking on the dash camps are not particularly good. We didn't stop at Rosile due to a Forestry Commission experiment. More on that in the diary, which was uh, released on Monday. Welcome to Berghead. Not our planned destination this weekend. But more about that, probably in the diary. It's the far coast of the Mai Firth. From Berghead. We take a view around There's snow on the tops, more so to the west than as we head at point north now, but uh, definitely snow there. Yeah, not much snow, but there's definitely snow on the higher hills to the west. Head is a small town in Moray, Scotland, about eight miles northwest of Elgin. The town is mainly built on a peninsula that projects northwestward into the Moray Firth, meaning that most of the town has sea on three sides. Burg Head has an ancient history. The easily defended headland was fortified during the early Iron Age and may have been settled considerably earlier. From the 300s, what we now call Burg Head became an important centre for the people referred to by the Romans as the Verturiones, who went on to establish the Pictish Kingdom of Fortriu, with, very probably, Burg Head as its capital. Over the next 500 years, what evolved here was a large fortress, covering an area of seven and a half acres. This made it three times the size of any other centre of power in the early historic Scotland. The Burghead Promontory Fort seems to have been occupied from the late 300s and continued as a major centre well into the late 800s.
The Harvest Reaper is one of the most celebrated boats to have fished the Moray Firth. She was built in Fraserburgh and it was based at that port under the captaincy of John Downey May, her builder and owner, from the 1930s until 1965. And it was while she was at, he was at the helm that the vessel became involved in attempts to rescue a pilot from an aircraft that ditched in the sea. Shortly before noon on April 29, 1946, a Firefly aircraft flying out of the naval air base at Rattray near Fraserburgh got into difficulties, about six miles off the coast. The plane lost power and ditched in the water near the Harvest Reaper, breaking off its mast in the process. The crew immediately rushed to the plane in an attempt to help the pilot, who was 28, sorry, 20 year old Kenneth Williams from Liverpool, but was sadly unable to save him. The vessel remained in Fraserburgh and later under the command of Mr May's son Jim, before it was sold to new owners in Macduff. The weathered hull remained on the quayside at Burghead after running aground off the coast in the 80s, where it remained until January 2015 when Morrie Council demanded it was moved in order to make way for developments at the harbour. Now the restored boat is permanently based in the village so that more can learn about its celebrated past. It wouldn't be Burghead without a picture of the lookout point. Target Ness Light on the far side of the river, and we've been there as well. Still a hint of autumn in the hillsides, but remember there's snow there as well.
A recent dig just beyond the boundary of Berg Head at Clarkley Hill has uncovered Iron Age circular stone houses and Pictish building foundations, as well as silver and bronze Roman coins and a gold finger ring, possibly from the Baltic region. Significant evidence of large-scale iron smelting has also been found, providing evidence that iron was probably being traded from this site. The National Museum of Scotland has carried out significant exploration, which leads it to believe this is a significant site of interest. The present town was built between 1805 and 1809, destroying in the process more than half of the site of an important Pictish hill fort. General Roy's map shows the defences as they existed in the 18th century, but he wrongly attributed them to the Romans. The fort was probably a major Pictish centre and was where carved slabs depicting bulls were found. They were known as the Burghead Bulls. A chambered well of some considerable antiquity was discovered in 1809 and walls and a roof were later added to help preserve it. Each year on 11th of January a fire festival known as the Burning of the Clavy takes place. It is thought that the festival dates back to the 17th century although it could easily predate this by several centuries. Burghead is often known by locals as the Brock, a nickname also applied to Fraserburgh. It's nearby in Aberdeenshire.
thank you for watching this week's Desmond's Donuts. Please take nothing but memories, leave nothing but tracks. We hope you enjoyed it and you'll join us next time. In the meantime, please think about subscribing.